CLS is go for orbital access arm retract. The orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. And it can be returned to position within seconds if need be. PRPS, what do you say? Just PRPS to verify that the recorder running. Copy. T minus four minutes and counting. TLS is go for per sequence four. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The final aerial surface checks of the orbiter's flaps and rudder is being completed. Also, we are, the three main engines are being gibbled as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. All is continuing to go well for today's launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavour and the first Hubble Sur Space Telescope servicing mission. This mission is scheduled to last 11 days and includes five spacewalks. PLP, OTC. Clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. Everything continues ready to fly today on NASA's four and a half million pound space shuttle vehicle. Roger, same work. T minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET, LH2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 45 seconds. Everything continues to look good for launch this morning. In about 90 seconds, the Space Shuttle Endeavour will begin its 11th, its 11-day flight to visit the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope, but not before lighting up the nighttime Florida sky. The launch should be visible for hundreds of miles. The mission and the record five spacewalks will be watched worldwide. T minus one minute and counting. T minus 50 seconds and counting and we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. T minus 31 seconds, and we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, and we have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we have liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an ambitious mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope.
There's three main engines now back in full throttle. All flight control positions are go. Altitude now 10 miles. 7 miles east of launch pad 39B. Endeavor speed 1,700 miles an hour. One and a half minutes since liftoff. Endeavor's already used more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and the shuttle weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Flight controllers are now standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms a good endeavor. Two engine banjo. Roger. Two engine banjo. Jettison of the solid rockets. That call also indicates that Endeavor could now perform an emergency transatlantic landing if needed. Endeavor performance nominal. Roger. Performance nominal. Also, Endeavor's performance as far has been just as planned. Altitude now 35 miles, 48 miles east of the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour traveling 3,400 miles an hour. Boost officer confirms a good jettison of the external fuel tank. Endeavour Houston, we see a nominal MECO, Ohms 1 not required. Roger Houston, Ohms 1 not required and it's a beautiful sunrise. It looked awfully good from here too.